aquatic animal experts wash, take pictures, and measure this pygmy sperm whale. Total length is going to be 328. The nearly 11-foot-long whale arrived at the University of Florida's College of Veterinary Medicine after it died shortly after it was found on Fernandina Beach. Experts will look for some clues to find out why this animal died. We have a natural background of animals that die coming in from the wild waters, landing on the shore. So what we have to do is to look at each one, if at all possible, and figure out what's really happening out in the environment. Is it really things like oil? or is it things like food toxins, or is it illness? So there's a lot of things that are unknown. A few pygmy sperm whales are found each year on Florida beaches. A majority of them will die because they are usually very ill when they are found on the beach. UF aquatic vets will closely examine the whale for any unusual markings. This one's much longer than this right side here. And so we were just looking at some of the scarring patterns and pigmentation differences. Um, to make some conjectures onto what might have happened as far as a shark bite or entanglement or something along those lines. UF experts think this pygmy whale is probably an adult and died of natural causes because there isn't any evidence of death on the outside of the whale. But it is important that you don't make a judgment before you look inside. So the full necropsy will be done first and any cause of death may take anywhere from four to six weeks. Experts say even after all the tests are completed, there is a chance they might not know what killed this whale. At the University of Florida, I'm Chris Bilovich.